All right. Uh, sorry, I haven't been doing any uh, videos lately. I've been uh, under the weather. Uh, got a little sick. So, uh, yeah. Uh, hopefully my voice is coming through pretty nice. I had a little bronchitis. <clears throat> but I think I'm 80%, right? Not 100%, but I'm, I'm there. So, anyways, uh, I'm sorry about this actually taking so long because I, we also had a power outage in my area that lasted for like eight or nine hours. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty bad. And then... When we finally got the power back, I start up my VR headset, my HC Vive, and it's giving me error 436. That kind of worried me. I had to do a little bit of troubleshooting, remove the cables, plug them back in, reinstall drivers, blah, blah, blah. Turns out that's a NVIDIA problem, and I just had to install the latest NVIDIA drivers. So everything is good. Hopefully you can see uh, what I'm seeing. I'm in the game. And let's check out the latest update for H3VR. Oh, look at these babies over here. It's a shotgun uh, emporium. <laughs> That's the word I can think of. But yeah, so this is the final alpha update for, up, uh, for uh, update 90. And Anton has given us some great toys to play with, as well as some other stuff to uh, mess around with uh, since this is the final alpha. Next week is going to be some really cool stuff for 4th of July, so I can't wait for that. Hopefully the audio is recording. <clears throat> oh, man. I thought it was still a little scratchy, so if you hear a little bit of me coughing, just ignore it. But uh, anyways, yeah, so this is a shotgun update. Uh, let's just ignore that gun over there for right now. <laughs> we'll get to that later. Uh, I've been waiting so long, eight, nine hours for uh, to, to play the game, and now I can finally play it. So, um... Yeah, all right, so let me check out the patch notes here. I can still read them. All right, the first uh, first weapon that we get to ch uh, check out here is a oft-requested one and often thought to be very impossible, but Anton has found a way. It's the KSG. Uh, you probably recognize this uh, shotgun from John Wick. John Wick uses it. I think it was the KSG, or was it the uh, UGS? I, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've seen those movies, but... Here it is, and it's a double-tubed glory. That's the uh, thing that was keeping Anton from from uh, in adding it to the game, was the uh, two magazine tubes. And uh, there's a small caveat, uh, since he's, you know, he tried to make it work, but I guess it doesn't. When you vault this one, uh, you can't save all the ammunition. So you're going to have to uh, just load one tube and um, you know, reload it when you spawn it. But... Yeah, you know, everyone was excited about this one. It looks really good. Look at that. KSG. All the space, uh, space shotgun glory. Space gat. But, uh, yeah. Check out that safety. Very nice. Uh, you got some rails here. Which you can add some uh, attachments to. Not the first time. Uh, a moving uh, moving object has uh, attach points to it. Uh, the M249 has a uh, top cover that has uh, you can add scopes and stuff to it. But uh, for a shotgun, that's uh, pretty cool. But uh, let's uh, let's play around with this stuff. Um, you know what? Let me. We get we ha we do have shotgun shells on the table, but uh, let's select hell type here. Twelve gauge. Um, Let's see, let's get some, uh, you know what, let's get the uh, buckshot here, and then uh, we'll just do uh, slug rounds for the other tube. But I'm, I'm not really sure on how the technical stuff works, because that's Anton's thing. I just play the game, so, all right, how many rounds does this thing hold? Let's load this here, one, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, seven. Okay. So let's just uh, put this inside there. Seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whoop. Well, that's uh, not going to hold seven, so. All right. You know what? I think I'll just do single. Whoop. Well, whatever. One. Oh, wait. Hold on. You gotta flip this little switch here. Oh no, you gotta flip it all the way, it turns out. Really finicky. 
All right, we'll just add one more in there. And then if you put it to the center and you open up the gun, you can actually add one more. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, oh, ooh, targets have changed. Oh, no. Okay, they're all in their categories now. I forgot about that. Anton said that. Uh, let me just move my stuff out of the way here, get to the center. Let's go uh, three meters. Not too far. And let's go select a silhouette. Okay. No sights on this thing, so you're going to have to uh, add some yourself. But uh, let's see how it fires. That was a slug. Can we switch to another tube? Oh, wait, you know what? Actually, you know what? I want to try. Okay, so we have to switch to a tube. Boom. That's a slug. Oh, nope. That was, uh, I tried to, hold on. Okay. Okay, so I guess it started off with a slug. It started off with a slug rounds. Yeah, see that? I mean, this, ga this gun, again, uh, very... Um, I don't want to say jank, but it, it's, you know, I mean, it, it's a, it's a tough gun to add to the game. Did I? Oh, now it's, uh, now it's firing buckshot. Oh, okay. So if it's, if it's on that side, it fires the, if the switch is on the right side, it fires the left tube. If the switch is on the left side, it fires the right tube. Okay. Okay. I got it now. Okay, that's empty. Switch over to the other tube. Go for headshots here. Can we... Hold on. Can we one-hand cock it? And that's uh, done by grabbing the uh, foregrip here, or the pump, holding the trigger down, and then moving your uh, hand up and down in an up and down motion. All right, cool. You can still do that. Yeah, there's the KSG for you. And again, you can't save uh, both barrels, both tubes with ammunition, so... Ah, uh, you know what, that's okay. I mean, we finally get the uh, fabled KSG in the game. You know, Anton uh, worked his miracles. Oh, with, uh, you know, with some small caveats, but hey. You know, uh, you, you know that's uh, pretty cool. Like this gun, really nice. Yeah, I mean, if I had a cash, if I had the cash in real life, I'd probably get one. But I, you know, I mean, well, no, well, maybe, maybe. I mean, if I did have the cash, uh, these things cost a, you know, a lot of money. Uh, more than a VR headset, but uh, I used to live in uh, the United States, so I used to live in Las Vegas, so you know, the the gun laws over there are pretty lax, but uh, not lax, but I mean, you know, more more relaxed. You know, than other states, but you know, I mean, uh, it was either either I think the one the one gun that I wanted to get is an FNX, but uh, that's a that's a story for another day. I just don't have the cash, <laughs> to be honest. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, people have been requesting this gun for a long time, so that's cool. Uh, we can stick a lot of attachments on it, obviously. Uh, let me see. Let's grab a. Uh, where's the boxy suppressor? Since this gun is a little, uh, little boxy, let's uh, let's add a boxy suppressor on there. Ooh, very nice. And then a sight for this. Uh, what sight should I use? What did what did John Wick use? I don't I don't remember. I need to go check that out <laughs> again. But uh, let's see. Let's just go with the. Uh, Let's go with the uh, the OSA. Nah, that doesn't look too good. Let's try the uh, reflex sight here, the Walther. And I'm gonna change that to a crosshair because I like crosshairs. And uh, well, I know we can't save uh, both of these barrels, but or. Six, seven. OK. 
Okay. Switch over to the other side. Three, five, six, seven. And then let's go center. Let's add ourselves one. Throw that away. Oh, you know what? Since we got a rail down here, let's... Uh, uh, actually, you know what? Uh, before I do anything, I always like to put a laser on this thing. Right, well, you know what? Let's do this instead. Let's put the laser up here and then put the sight on top of the laser. Come on. I want you to get uh, in there. There we go. The laser on. Oh, yeah. Looking good. And then let's do a foregrip. Oh, what kind of foregrip am I going to stick on this baby? Uh, a bipod? <laughs> Should I stick a bipod on this thing? Oh, yeah, that's another one of the caveats I just remembered. Anton said you shouldn't put too many items on the foregrip. If you do, strange things will happen since this is a moving part, but I'm going to try it today. Let's uh, do, a, do a bipod, and let's do a angled black. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Let's do some, uh, let's do some long-range shotgunning here. Oops, uh, set target. Let's go nine 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 nine. Whoa! <laughs> I think just uh, went crazy there. I need an actual. Oh wait, hold on. Since since this bipod is on the uh, pump, I don't know what's gonna happen. So. Let's just uh, stick this thing there. All right, we're going to see what's going to happen here. Got the bipod. All right, well, it still works. That's pretty good. Oops. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I bought a bipod on the pump is... Not really good idea, to be completely honest. That was something I didn't think of. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of digging the. Uh... I want to see how this ejects. Oh, yeah, okay. A little clipping there. That's okay. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Switch over to the other. Actually, can I? Oh yeah, oh yeah. If uh, if you don't know, if you've got a uh, if you got a shotgun, a pump action shotgun pump like this, and you can't move the the slide back, I think you can press. Yeah, you can press up on the up on the trackpad on your gun hand. This hand, you press up. To, to release the, uh, oh my goodness, I just let another round go, to release the pump. All right, well, that's, uh, that's enough of that. I'm just going to see if I can fill this. Okay, I filled one tube. Can I fill the other one? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay, let me just, uh, oh, yeah, see, uh, if you, um, if it's locked, if the if the pump is locked, you just press up on the trackpad or whatever joystick to unlock it. Okay, let me just uh, fill held object here. A held object. It's not gonna save it, but whatever. I like to be prepared. Let's go to the vault here. Oh, the loading. The loading is taking too long. <clears throat> And the, the reason why is I've saved every gun in the game into my vault, so. Even, you know, even the ones that don't have attachments, I just changed the ammunition. I think you saw that last time when I was, uh, when I was playing that custom map. Like, some of the guns have, like, tracers on them. Okay. All right. Next gun. Let me check out the, uh, change log here. Uh, P612? Is that what it's called? I don't know what it is the 612. But it's the P612 in this game. 
And so now we've got uh, a bullpup shotgun that uses a uh, sort of revolver style, you know, cylinder. Oh, God, I can't remember what these are called. But uh, I'm trying to see if I can. Nope, okay, can't do that. So, yeah. 612. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, a lot of people don't really like the wood look, but uh, I'm fine with it. Oh, yeah, this this sounds good already. All right, let's... Uh, I spawn lock this, right? No, I didn't. Okay. We just stick that uh, cylinder in there, whatever it's called. And I think it's ready to go. Nice illuminated sights. Oh, you know what? Let's go to five... Let's go to three meters. And let's get this thing out of the way here. Reset the target, too. Six shots. Ooh. And then, uh, if you have any other rounds, you can reload that. Well, it's basically like a speed loader. I just want to try something. Oh, do I have any, uh... No, you can't do that. Doesn't fire. There's no chamber though, so. <laughs> but you can do this. It's pretty cool. Oh man, these uh these are pretty cool. <laughs> I'm digging it. I love it. That's been uh for me. I've been waiting for this for a long time since I saw Anton uh tease it in one of his uh, Twitch streams. He had this and the uh the Paincore Jackhammer, which uh, should be coming. Well, I don't want to say when it's coming. I don't know actually. I don't actually know when it's coming, but since he got this working, you know, and he said uh, on the uh, the subreddit that we might see the jackhammer in the future. Oh yeah, this is a pretty cool. You, you don't even need to charge it. Uh, the, the only thing that bad about it is that it's only got six six rounds, but. Uh, it's pretty controllable with one hand. And uh, it's a really unique looking gun. Let me just kick my rug back there. I have a little area rug on the floor. But uh, yeah, the 612. There is an under barrel version, but um, yeah, that's not going to work in this game. At least... We don't know, you know, maybe Anton will get, figure that out, but that'll probably take another year or so. <laughs> but uh, yeah, 612, stick this baby on there. And then I really like the sights though. These nice illuminated sights. Uh, <clears throat> what can I put on this thing? I'm gonna stick a reflex sight on here, right? Uh, PK-23, maybe? Oh, yeah. Well, you know what? I'll, I'll figure out a, uh... I'll figure out my own custom 612 later on, but, uh, this is fine for me right now. All right, one more. Let's actually grab the uh, hand, uh, the uh, handgun, the shotgun here. Pretty cool. All right, let's stick this in the vault. But I really like that. That's pretty. It's a pretty cool looking, cool looking gun there. All right, what's next? Let me get to my patch notes here that Anton has given us. Uh. The VT-13 Shorty? Is it this one? No, the T-14. Hold on. The VT-13 Shorty. Okay. Trying to remember what Anton said about these guns, but uh, it's been a while since I saw that devlog. And after troubleshooting everything on my computer, uh, I've kind of filled my head with... Uh, other stuff. Let's uh, go with buckshot. Fill this held object. I think this is a semi-automatic. 
Oops. Oh my goodness. I am just moving everywhere in my uh, play space here. All right, let's get rid of this. Okay, safety's off. All right, yeah, this is a semi-automatic shotgun. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. Quite like that. No pumping action required, right? Let's go with uh, the shit rounds here. Pretty cool. Now, if I remember correctly, one of them is a pump action, I think. I might, I may, I might be wrong about that, but let me just uh, customize this and stick this in the vault. Let's see. Let's get to a muzzle device. Hmm, what should I put on this thing? You know what? I'm not going to suppress this. I'm just going to keep it as it is. But I am going to add a Caron muzzle brake for those dynamic door breach moments. <laughs> also, I'll probably put a flashlight on this thing, so for the sure glow. Okay. And uh, what can we put on this thing? Let's go with a reflex sustenance. Oops, nope. Ah, uh, oh, that should be a little taller. Hmm, something, something with a little, a uh, little bit of height might be nice for this. Uh, elevated MRD. Eh, it looks kind of, kind of garbage with that. I'm, I'm just not gonna use a sight for this. But I will keep this. All right. Oh wait, hold on. Wait a minute. One more thing. Let me just, uh, let me check something here. I know this is incredibly dumb. Oh yes, you can. <laughs> you can put a stock on this thing. <laughs> I'm not going to, but if you really want to, you can do that for your own build. Okay. Ah, I made it. Two points. All right. Oh, no. I got rid of the uh, shotguns. Let me just uh, reload the scene here. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh, this one was the one we checked out. The VT-13. Let's throw that over there. Latent disregard for firearms. Okay. This one is the T-14 Custom. And this one is the pump action. So the uh, VT-14 is the uh, semi-automatic. This one is a pump action. So where's my... Uh, select held type. <clears throat> We're going to go with... Ooh, triple hit. Let's go with triple hit for this one. Okay, good stuff. Hmm... I don't know what I can do with this. Maybe give it a sight. Let's uh, add a long hollow sight on the top for fun. Let's just do that. <laughs> I, again, this is not final. I'll probably go back and refine this. Let's add a... Let's see, what can I put on this thing? Hmm... What is a good suppressor? Hmm. Uzi? Uzi suppressor? One of the bigger ones? <laughs> no, no, let's not do that. That's, uh... <clears throat> I want it maybe the, the Salvo. It's got the similar kind of profile to it. Oh, no, it does clip through. I don't like that. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, no. Something a little smaller. 
Let's see. PBS one. Oh yeah, that still clips through. Oil filter suppressor. <laughs> sure, why not? The bottle suppressor. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's do this. Fine, I'm gonna get the bottle suppressor on here. All right, let me shoot this thing before I vault it. Oh, okay, let's just move this out of the way. Let's go change uh, targets here. <clears throat> Set reset three. And my throat is feeling very scratchy, but uh, I will power through. Oh, not that many rounds since it's uh, cut down, but uh, yeah, pretty cool. And uh, I, am, I imagine that a stock can go through on this thing as well, but uh, I'm not going to put one because, well, maybe later. Uh, you know what? No, okay, I'll do it later on my own time. All right, let's check out the next update uh, on the, on the uh, patch notes here. The M2 Tactical. Okay, so this is the one right here. I think this is the uh, Benelli M2. I might be wrong. But, uh, yeah, I think this is the one, right? Semi-automatic as well. Got some rails here. Uh, I know There's not much I can say about it, uh, except for the fact that it's pretty cool. Let's fill this with uh, Swag 12 FA. Okay. And let's go shoot this thing. Ooh, really nice uh, illuminated uh, sights here. Oh, forgot. This isn't a pump action. This is semi-automatic, so... Pretty cool. Oh yeah, also um, Anton fixed the uh, little loading gate things so they don't flop around anymore. Which is a shame, I kinda like them back back when they were just like glitching out all over the place, but uh, you know, that's cool. Make the gun, uh, make the game uh, a little bit better. But uh, yeah. So pretty cool, pretty cool shotgun. Now let's, uh, oh, what can I customize this with? I can have a, uh, ooh, let's, <laughs> this is a pretty dumb idea. Uh, no, no, that's pretty dumb. Hmm. Oh, I could put a, uh, a bipod on this thing. Oh, I reset the scene. Completely forgot. Okay. Let's take a bipod on this thing. go got ourselves uh <laughs> pretty cool uh sniper shotgun <laughs> uh you know some people you know people have uh have done worse in hdvr trust me oh you can't co-witness the uh the iron sights that's too bad well you know what i'll still keep this one though the uh, acog that's pretty nice. Kind of like that. You know, I really should change the uh, rounds into slugs, though, but uh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. And uh, for ultimate covert action, I'll put uh, a suppressor on this thing. Let's grab this. Oh, you know what? Let us reset this target and go to the max distance. All right, there we go. Nice. Oh, this thing is loaded and ready to go. A little low. Oh, I can't change the, uh, the uh, whatchamacallit. Ah, 
All right, that's fine. I think that's pretty good. Oh, uh, ammo panel is actually the uh, platform. Let's uh, fill this. Spawn a cartridge. Okay, let's save this in the uh, vault. Like I said, I saved every weapon, except for maybe some of the duplicate uh, MP5s. I might actually do that, you know? But uh, yeah, every weapon in the game. All right. So what's next on the list here? The M3... Wait, M3? M23 gun. Okay. No, because uh, I remember in the uh, devlog, Anton was making jokes that this is the M3. But this is basically the M2, but with a incredibly large magazine tube so this thing can hold uh well let's uh, spawn a slug here how many how many rounds can this thing hold all right let's see all right one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 11. That's 10 plus 1. So that's a lot of rounds. Pretty cool. It's uh, semi-automatic as well, so you don't have to worry about pumping it. And the safety off there. Oh, this is pretty far. Hold on. Let's go with a... Uh, let's go 10 meters. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat is uh, hurting because of the, uh, yeah, the talking. <laughs> All right. But yeah, this is, uh, like Anton said, this is uh, the shotgun with the most capacity in the game. Uh, other other than the, uh, maybe the drum mag for the, uh, the uh, Saiga, uh, and the other guns that use magazines, but uh, yeah. Pretty cool. Oh, also this thing has a bolt release right there. So. I mean, you know, if you can't press up on your touchpad or joystick, you can always hit that. But, uh, oh man, I don't know what I'm going to do with this, this long, long boy. <laughs> what am I going to add? Let's get the uh, MAC-10 suppressor. Take that. <laughs> no, let's not do that one. That one's, that one's a little too weird. How about the Uzi suppressor? Just do the Uzi suppressor. Ah, uh, yeah. Sometimes the suppressors clip into the to the gun. Uh, you know what? I'm going to keep it unsuppressed. But I am going to add a reflex sight. Ooh, which one should I use? Hmm. Hmm, I have no clue which one I want to use. The game point? Well, aim point? Uh, maybe this. Where are you? There you are. Yeah. Well, you know what? I will come back to that one later because uh, it takes me like hours just to, you know, think of stuff to customize something with. But yeah, let's just stick that in the trash. Oh, go away. All right. The last addition to the game. And uh, I want to get this right. This is the compound pistol. So if you've ever played any VR, you'll know that there is a uh, game out there called Compound. I do have it. But, uh, you know, I'm not really... Well, I mean, I, I like the game. But I just wish it kind of had arm swinger, the same kind of movement that uh, we have here in H3 VR. Because uh, for the longest time, my trackpads were broken. So, I mean, I, I should start playing it. Maybe I, I could start playing it. 
since my uh, since I fixed my trackpad. So maybe I might do a couple videos on that game, but uh, I will see. But this is a gun from that game. It's Compound. It's actually a pretty good game. <clears throat> Uh, and, uh, now it's, now, uh, the, uh, pistol from that game is in H3 VR, so, uh, oh, so nice, so nice. <laughs> it's so cool, it makes a little noise when you pull the slide. But yeah. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. I am so glad Anton is friends with uh, the developers of uh, Compound because we could probably see more of the uh, the weapons from that game. I kind of like the shotgun. Uh, the well, I forgot what it's called. It's been a while since I played it, but there's a shotgun in the game. Uh, that's pretty cool. It's like a little break action, if I remember correctly. I might be remembering, misremembering, but uh, it's got some pretty cool guns in the game. A little meter in the back tells you how many, uh, or how close you are to overheating the gun <laughs> it's pretty cool looking very shiny ooh very uh, vapor wave is that that's the that's the thing right but uh yeah really looks cool Doesn't have any ammunition, I don't think. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know. Did they did they add the update where you can dual wield in that game? I th or could you do it before? I think you could do it before. I remember dual wielding. Um, all right, where is this located? I forgot where Anton put this. No, it's probably in. Ordinance? No, hold on. I will find it. Trust me. No. Anti-material? No. <laughs> I mean, okay, no. No. Um. No, not the Derringer. Not the muzzle loading. Uh, machine pistol? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, you could dual wield these in, in compound. You just have to find the, uh, whatchamacallit, the, uh, they're on the wall behind a glass case, and then you would break the glass case and grab another one. But yeah, I mean, uh, you know, if if Compound had the arm swinger movement, I would. I would have played it a lot more, but since I fixed my trackpads, maybe I might do some uh, compound videos. No, you can't do that? Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know what kind of bullet these things fire, but... Uh, well, this is just a compound pistol. But can you customize it? Let me just see if... Uh... No, I don't think you can. Uh, there's no attach points anywhere. That's. Uh, it doesn't really need anything. It's uh, it's already unique onto itself. But I will try something. Hold on. Let me, uh... <laughs> Let me do something stupid here. No, you can't. Okay. Well, that's okay. That's That's fine. Ah, almost made it. All right, I think that should be about all the weapons that was added today. I'm trying to remember what else is in the uh, in the patch notes here. Uh, 
Hold on, I can't really quite see. Wait, wait, what is that? G11 TAC mod? Hold on. G11. Oh, wait. Wait a minute, hold on. I need to find this. I don't think this was in the, uh... Oh! Oh no! I think Anton mentioned this in the video, but he didn't show it. Oh! Okay! Alright! It's the G11, but it's got rails on it now. <laughs> so, you can actually customize this thing. Oh wait, you can't put a suppressor on it? Oh, oh well. Well, you know, you could still put a uh, foregrip if you wanted. Let's put this thing on there. Let's just make this as absurd as possible. Okay, let's stick the magazine in there. Kind of like the uh, sustenance reflex. Let's just stick this laser on here as well. Let's grab that sustenance reflex. Oh, yeah, there we go. Um, so you can't put a suppressor on it? Oh, that's just too bad. I would think you could, since, you know, I mean, there'd, be, there'd probably be issues with the magazine, but it looks like with certain suppressors, you could probably get away with it. Say that's, yeah. Yeah, well, you know what? That's fine. I mean, Anton gave us a uh, G11 that you can trick out. Go with the uh, really fast three-round burst here. Um, what can I put on the sides? Oh, you know what? Let's get rid of this thing. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's put an underbarrel thing here. Oh, that looks kind of weird. Hold on, just a second. I can't. There we go. How about the uh, car key? Let's make it smaller. Should fit properly. There we go. Oh, yeah. That's what I want to see. What about on the sides here? Hmm. What can I put on the sides? Let's see, should I make a, a weird kind of thing? Let's let's see if this will work. No, come on, get on there. I know you can get on there. Hmm, nah, it, it interferes with a magazine. I'm not gonna do that. Well, you know what? Hold on, wait a minute. Let's go to decorative. Oh my goodness, I completely forgot. We could put the uh, foregrip on this thing. Get out of here. Let's do the air the, the air horn foregrip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do that. Do some short rail covers. Is it too short? It's too short. Let's try uh, mediums. Mediums are probably too big. Yeah, they are probably they're too they are too big. Okay, let's not do that then. <clears throat> it's a shame we can't put a suppressor on this thing. But, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. That's fine. Um, hmm. What else can I put on this? I can do a light. You know what? I'm just going to keep these naked. But I'm, I am going to keep the, uh, the MLG air horn. All right. Uh, oh, do I? Uh, I need to put some ammo in this thing. Whoop. It's like held tight. Uh, hmm. This should be caseless, right? Hmm. That is a bug that I guess Anton will fix. But this should be caseless. So, you know what? Let's just spawn a, a uh, magazine for this. Uh, I'm putting it backwards. That's my fault. 
And uh, there we go. Okay, put that in the vault with the other G11 that I have. Should be in here somewhere. Where is it? Where are you? No, this is not what I want. There it is. Okay, so attack mod, attack mod G11. I'll try to figure something out with that later. Don't worry about that. All right, what else is new? What else is in the game? We scroll this thing down. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got the 80 round Makarov drum magazine. So let me spawn a Makarov here. I think this was a joke that was uh, in the subreddit, but also on the Discord. I think someone showed an image off and uh, well, you know what? We got one. So now we got a drum magazine for the Makarov. I'm gonna have to uh, go to the uh, pistols here. Let me find the Makarov that I've got. Uh, let's see, where are you, Makarov? You're in here somewhere. It's all alphabetical. There it is. I'll put a little suppressor on there. I'm just gonna this that. Okay, it's pretty good. I might change the ammo for this to tracer because I am all right. Cool. But yeah, so it's a drum magazine for the Makarov. Oh, my finger's getting tired. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Let me give my finger a break here. Okay, now it's empty. <laughs> Okay, cool. A drum magazine for the Makarov. Really nice. All right, I'm going to delete this one. Get out of my face. And we're going to put that in there. All right, what else is in the patch notes? Uh, let's see. Target category window is... Uh, yeah, with that we've already seen that. <clears throat> Shotguns have been modified. XM1-1014 has muzzle attach points. Hold on. Wait a minute. What are we talking about here? Hold on. XM. Because uh, I only know of one uh, M M1014, and it's this one. Are we talking about the same gun here? That's weird. Wait, wait, hold on. XM1014 now has a muzzle attach points. Hopefully I'm reading that right. Hmm, okay, well, I mean, cool, I guess. I didn't have, I didn't really have an issue with this one, but... All right, cool. Uh, what else is there? Let me see, check out the patch notes here. Sound set for the Express uh, 870. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, okay, we're going to have to go to the main menu for this one. And we're going to have to check out the uh, new... Whoops. Where am I? <laughs> I'm turning around here. We're going to have to check out the new... Where is it? Sniper range. There it is. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Batteries are running out. Oh, <laughs> I just charged these things. Okay, so uh, as you can see, the sniper range now has the uh, new whoops, the new uh, cool targets from the indoor range. So we can do this at a longer distance. Hold on. So we can go all the way over there. It's pretty far. Huh. Okay. That's going to be hard to hit, but we've got some sniper rifles here. Oh, yeah, that's right. I completely forgot. Okay, so you know how I was complaining about the uh, the whole quick bolting? Well, Anton is uh, a generous god. 
<laughs> he is. Uh, so now we can uh, change our uh, bolt action firing uh, mode. So now you can do the regular quick bolt, which is uh, basically pressing on the touchpad. Uh, touchpad right, I think. You press touchpad right, and you can you can pull the bolt back and forth, whatever you want. It's your thing. But I'm going to switch to slide bolt, which uh, uh, seems to be not working. No. Nope. Wait, hold on. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, I thought that would be in there. Let me try something else. Go with a... Let's go with the uh, end field here. Hmm, okay, that is kind of broken. Anton will probably have to fix that. But, well, you know what? We have the option now to slide bolt instead of quick bolt so it's either or you know you have you can choose one or the other you can't have both which kind of messed with the uh, things in the first place which makes sense but uh, yeah we'll have to uh, for the uh, quick bolting we'll have to use something with a bipod let me see here oh, let me just check if this will still work uh, can we put this thing on there sort of okay it still works with the bipod okay Good. Uh, Anton will just have to fix that. But, uh, yeah. So now you can choose. Uh, which I will, you know, wait for Anton to fix. Because I love the slide bolt. No one can convince me otherwise. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you guys. Uh, alright. Why use a slide bolt when you can just use something that, uh, like this? <laughs> you don't need to, you don't need to pull the bolt back. It does it automatically for you. Okay. So, yeah, we got our target now. It's all the way back there. Ooh. Just too much, man. That is too much shake. Hmm, where is it? Where are you? Just uh, right about there. Okay. Okay, that should be a lot better. Oh, you know what? Let's zoom in the magnification here. That was 32 times. Ooh, this is pretty cool. Practice my sniping for the uh, upcoming uh, long range map by Anton. Of course, there's those custom maps too, but uh, I, you know, with a new update, you had to, I, I personally myself, I had to, um, oh my goodness, I had to back up my files, so I'll see what people are saying about the custom worst mod. Oh goodness. Oh, that's a zero. Are you kidding me? Oh, man, hold on. Let me just... Uh, I need to aim a little higher. Oh, uh, didn't quite hit it. This is a zero. It's right there. Ooh, okay. Right, where is the target? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Aim a little higher. Oh, there we go. Is that a bullseye? That's a nine. Hold on, just a second. Okay, so the ten, the, the bullseye is a ten, so. Well, I mean, I got close. It's right there. It's close. But yeah, so you see that the uh, the new target system is here, and if we go downstairs, I'm gonna regret doing this, but uh, yeah, we got the stuff down here as well, and I think, uh, if I remember correctly, Anton said that these do follow your movements, so if I, let's say, get down, I think they do. I'm I'm not too sure. Hold on. Well, they do, right? Are they following me? I, it's like one of those uh, things you can't look at, why, right? And then they just uh, they don't do anything. But if you turn your head away, oh, that seems like it was a lot taller. Hmm. Oh, 
wait, hold on. Hold on, wait a minute, just a second. Let's uh, wait for this thing to get back here. Oh. Is it going to follow me? Oh, okay, okay, oh. I'm such a dunce. You know what? I think Anton added the option of raising or lowering the, uh... Ah, okay. Cool, okay. Wow, that is a really cool quality of a uh, life fix right there. You can actually change the height of your target now. Pretty cool. I think that's a... Uh... Yeah, we're gonna go down. I'm gonna try something really stupid, but... Uh... Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be incredibly dumb. Because I'm not... I'm not the young man I used to be. So this is gonna be really hard for me. But I am going to go prone. <laughs> Alright, let me just spawn a weapon here. This will be the final thing in the video, because <laughs> I don't think my, uh... I don't think my body can handle this, <laughs> to be completely honest. Uh, Alright, I need to find a good weapon. Uh, let's go with the, uh... The AWM. Or the AWP. And let's get a, be a better scope. Let's see. Uh, attachment. We need a bipod. Obviously, since I'm going to go prone. Okay. And then a scope. Uh, 12 by 60, right? All right. Uh, it's a little... Uh, let's not go with a 12 by 60. Oops, that was my wall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was my window, but uh, I'm glad I have curtains protecting my window. Uh, not good. Okay. Um, let's see. 8 by 32? I think that would be a good one. It's no uh, it's no 60. 60, mag 60 times mag magnification, but it's good enough. Okay. This is going to be terrible. Let me make sure uh, I am in the right position. Okay. This is going to suck. Oh, God. Why? Why am I doing this? Okay. All right. It's not exactly prone, but it's close enough. Okay. Ouch. Oh, no. Oh, I need to put my... Oh, don't quite have a... Okay, well, this is terrible. I don't know how people can do this. Oh. I should have. All right, uh, there we go. I just moved some stuff. Oh, well, I'm not exactly prone, but, uh, oops. This will be uh, good enough, right? Give me my bipod, please. Okay. That's a little too high. Go down a little lower here. Even lower, please. Oh, that's that's too much. Okay, there we go. Okay, well, yeah, you can see the uh, panel moving. All this wire is tangled around me. This sucks. Uh, but uh, you can see the panel moving, right? Oh, well, that's how it moves. Okay, cool. Okay. Uh, you know what? I should raise this higher. That should be good. Oh, this is terrible. I don't know how people do this anymore. Come on. Get me a good perch. Okay, that's good enough. Let's amplify the magnification and see if we can hit this thing. Okay. Need to. You know what? Needs to be a little lower. I can't go any lower. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on just a second. Oh my goodness, my cord. <laughs> this is a terrible idea. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> Okay, let's move this a little lower. Uh, I think that's good enough. Okay, well, I'm all sorts of tangled up here. This is pretty bad. Let me just out, out. Oh, this is, this is terrible. <laughs> okay, no, that's not, no, no, that's too low. Okay. <laughs> I guess we're just gonna have to get lower, I guess. Uh, okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna, t I'm gonna do one good shot. All right, cause I can't do this any, any longer. This is terrible. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please. Okay, safety is off. I think. No, it's on. Okay, well. <sighs> okay. What was the hit? Oh, so close to the center. All right, you know what? That's good enough. My cord is, ouch. <laughs> All right, this is dumb. For me, uh, for other people out there who are more agile than me, that you can probably do that, right? Oh, please, I hopefully I didn't ruin my cord. <laughs> <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so I uh, managed to uh, get a hit on the nine there. Oh, that's terrible. That's, uh, that's exhausting. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. I wish VR was out when I was, like, in high school or something, because this is, this is terrible. <laughs> All right, well, you know, I, I gave my best shot. I got a, got on the nine. That's not bad. Let's just try, well, you know what, let's try to do it freehand. Let me see if I can do it, uh. Oh man, I do need a platform. Okay, whoops. Okay, this will be this will be pretty good. I can get this. Got the chamber another round. Oh man, this is so hard. Standing up, not holding anything. Oh man, seriously? So close to the bullseye. Oh, all right, well, you know what? I think that about, that about wraps up for today. I'm exhausted, my back hurts. <laughs> oh man, okay. But yeah, that's uh, that's about it for today. I'm going to probably just mess around with the gun customization, uh, checking out the, uh, the shotguns and trying to make some weird kind of uh, stuff with them. That's probably going to take hours. Uh, I'm glad I charged my batteries for that. But uh, yeah, that's about it for today. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Oh, where's my mouse cursor? Oh. Hold on. So lost. Here it is. All right, later.